dear student friend today we are going to discuss a important topic the name of the topic is pharmaceutical containers and enclosures and under this pharmaceutical containers and enclosures today we are going to discuss the different type of the containers and the closures which we are using uh, in our pharmaceutical industry for the packing of or uh, for the storage of the different type of the doses of so let us have a look on the containers first because uh, if you see the closer closer is the part of the container so first we have to understand what is containers so this containers for the pharmacopoeial articles we, when we are talking about the pharma, uh, pharmacopoeial articles uh, is intended to contain a drug substance or the drug uh, product okay which are having direct contact with the containers and that's why these containers are playing very important role in our pharmaceuticals although the closures are the part of this container whatever the containers we are using this closure are the part of that particular container so here when we are talking that these containers are having direct contact with the product so we have to select a very uh, appropriate type of the container which must having a very good quality okay so let us have a look on the different type of the quality the good container must have the first one is the neutral it must be neutral with the product which are directly coming in contact with the containers because the products are stored in the container so it, it must be neutral to that product okay second one it should not having any type of the interaction it may be the physical or the chemical type of the interaction with the drug product or the drug substance then third one the stability it must be retain the stability of the pharmaceutical product fourth one is a non toxic in nature it must having a non toxic non corrosive and uh, biodegradable nature and last one it uh, withstand the change in the pressure or any type of the environmental condition so it must uh, withstand with this uh, environmental changes or environmental conditions so if all this quality available then we can go for the selection of that type of the containers so let us have when we are talking the type of the containers let us have look on the different type of the containers which we are using depends upon the type of the doses from uh, for which it is going to be used the first one is the well closed container second one is the single dose container third one is the multi dose container fifth one uh, fourth one is the light sensitive container fifth one is the air tight container and last one is the aerosol container so when we talk about the well closed container well closed means it is a well closed okay it is totally closed in that one and when we talk about the second one that is a single dose container single dose container is like this it having uh, it contains a single dose okay and it is uh, available in the vial or ampoule form and it is under the parenteral doses form similarly the multi dose container means it contains the multiple doses in it okay so it also again uh, available in the form of the vial or the ampoule and uh, it again fall under the parenteral category then the light sensitive container so this light sensitive means those substances which are having a sensitivity towards the light so for that we have to use this type of the container or those containers which protect our product or our substance against the effect of the light then the air tight container so if you see this one this is totally air tight one so it uh, prevent the entry of the air from the environmental condition to enter in this so that's why it protecting against the uh, oxidative stress which are happen if our product comes in contact with the oxygen then sixth one is the aerosol so this having the property of the aerosol so these are the example of the aerosol container and this one is also aerosol container so these are the some of the important type of the containers which we are using in our pharmaceuticals there some factors are there which are influencing the choice of the packaging 
which we are using in our pharmaceutical. So we have to concentrate on that part also. What are the different factors which are affecting? The first factor is the product. That is the type of the product. Okay. That is whether uh, it is used for the uh, infant, whether it, it is used for the adult one or the type of the doses from like the tablet, capsule, parenteral. So depends upon the product, we have to select the packaging of that particular pharmaceuticals. The second one is the market. Okay. Whether that market is a domestic, whether that is a local, domestic or international, whether we have to store, uh, we have to go for the display of that particular product uh, or we have to sell. Like on that basis, uh, according to that market, we have to select the packaging. Then third one is the distribution. Distribution of the product from one part to the another part. Okay. So, which vehicle we are using? Suppose if we are using uh, any local vehicle, then we have to uh, uh, pack it in a very uh, tempered container so that there should not be any damage to that product. So, that's why the distribution is also playing very important role while selecting the choice of the packages for the pharmaceuticals. And the last one is the manufacturing facility whether it having the proper manufacturing according to that and the stability also okay so depends upon the stability uh, of our product we have to select uh, the uh, type of the packages which we are using in our pharmaceuticals hmm. the next part of this containers and closures is the closures which we are using it available in the five basic design first one is a screw on threaded lug so next one is a press on uh, fourth one is a roll on and fifth one is the friction so when we uh, when we talk about the screw on okay so this is the screw one or threaded one okay or it is also uh, available in the lug form lug form is it is similar to the threaded one so in this you will find that screw out the threaded it having the multiple thread but in this lug form it having only single thread one okay uh, second one is the creep on creep on uh, it having the uh, aluminium one and in that it having the uh, plastic or the polyethylene or uh, uh, other type of the septa which available in it and another one is the press on so we have to press it okay roll on if you see the example of roll on this is the best example uh, where the ball is available and we have to roll on to uh, release the duct from it or uh, the content from it okay then uh, last one is the friction if you see the friction example is also available here uh, like uh, if you see this one this is the friction cap okay so dear friend uh, these are some basic design so under this basic design if you see the first one that is the threaded screw cap this threaded screw cap is made up of either the metal or the plastic when we talk about the metal it may be the tin or the aluminium or when we talk about the plastic it may be the thermoplastic or the thermosetting material Similarly, the lug cap is there. This lug cap is similar to the threaded screw cap. Okay. Uh, only difference that it is the simply an in, in, uh, interrupted uh, thread on the glass uh, finish instead of continuous threading as I already discussed that it having only an interrupted uh, thread. Okay. Instead of a continuous threading. Then the crown cap. We all know that crown cap it is available in the beverage bottle thumbs up and other one which we are using then the roll on uh, we are already discussed the roll on uh, which is available having the sealed uh, securely open easily and we can apply that product by rolling on okay then uh, last one is the uh, fill uh, pillar proof closer it is similar to roll on closer but has a greater 
स्कर्ट लेंथ ओके सो डियर फ्रेंड सो टूडे वॉट वी हैव लर्न टूडे वी हैव लर्न द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द कंटेनर्स different type of the closures which we are using in our pharmaceutical industry so i hope you understand the type of the containers type of the closures which we are using in our pharmaceutical industry thank you